Ooh, yes, I am going to train Titan differently than how I trained as a youngster. Michael Anderson, I just heard what you wrote. Uh, people are giving up at 35 and you're 56 with back surgery and still kicking ass. Love you, man. Yeah, so it sounds like it's a peptide and it's going to stimulate the whole growth hormone to help for recovery. So that's what that is. Here's my concern. If you're already using age as a gauge, we've lost you. Uh, sorry about that, but we've lost you. Um, so the one thing people say to me is, uh, uh, wow, you look good for 51 years old. I, I, I don't look good for 51 years old. I look good for the very best of the health and fitness in the entire world. It's not the 51 years old. But when you guys incorporate 50 or, or, or your ages, then what you're doing is you're actually setting yourself up to compare to the rest of the world. Um, and the majority of the world looks terrible for their age. So I can't go along with that. Me, I can't. Uh, I'm comparing myself to want to look uh, as good or better than Tom Cruise at almost 60 years old. That's my goal. Um, so I wouldn't take the average person. That's the average person doesn't work out. The average person doesn't eat right. So I don't know why anybody would want to take the average person. I, I hear a lot um, from acquaintances that they go, hey, I look good for 40. Well, what's, what's your average? What's, what is 40? Um, I know that may sound harsh to you guys, but you got to understand that I've been doing this my entire life. So I don't think the same as everybody else. Uh, I'm trying to be better every single day, regardless of what age or anything like that. And I'm not trying to be better for my age. I'm trying to be the best in the world. So that's, I don't care if the kid's 18 years old or 25 years old or, or a 31 year old. I hate when I get compared with somebody and I never compare with different age groups. Like what I do is like, hey, I'm gonna be 45. I wanna look the best I've ever looked at 45. That's how I look at it. But that's because we think the same in that sense. And, and the, Simona's a former Miss Universe. And again, she's 45 and she looks like ridiculous. You got 20 year old girls that don't look like this. Or is you don't got 20 year old guys that look like this or as strong as her. So again, try to remove, remove what society is throwing on you. What uh, you're supposed to look like at 40, what you should look like at 50. And then get rid of also what the doctors are saying. Because remember, the doctors are just trying to make you uh, uh, comfortable in the situation you're at. Hey, you're healthy. Your blood tests come back good. Hey, you're having your 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 coke and whatever, and you're still hanging in there. Cool deal. They're not there to make you better. You're there to make you better. You're there to to surpass what you're possible to do. And then for me, a little flip on my my take even more so is I changed my DNA. And, and we created something even freakier when it comes to our child. So it's little things like that that we keep trying to push and push and push the envelope. So don't come back at 50. Don't start using your age. Don't start doing that. Um, try to think outside of the box, guys. Trust me, you guys do not want to be average. There's nobody that's following me that wants to be average. Sort of like this guy does. Why are people giving up at 35? I'm 56, back okay. surgery, two shoulder surgeries. Oh, can I, can you say the name of that person? Michael Anderson. Michael Anderson, I just heard what you wrote. Uh, people are giving up at 35 and you're 56 with back surgery and still kicking ass. Love you, man. That is awesome. That's the kind that's of guys, that's the Titans. Yeah. That's Titans. That's a Titan mentality. And what I'm telling you about that people do give up at 35, trust me, I go to the gym every day and I see these kids come in there and they go, hey, I got a bad back and bad knees because uh, squats and deadlifts are bad for you. No, I saw your form. Your form is bad. It's not the exercise that's bad or it's how you're eating or it's how you're recovering or it's how you think you're training. So I love the fact that this 56 year old just said, I'm crushing it and he's getting better and better and better and he's not giving up. That's really when it comes down to my philosophy, that's one of the first things guys, it is the mindset. Ooh, yes, I am gonna train Titan differently than how I trained as a youngster. I trained like a basic teenager would train. Um, my thing was all about power from 9, 10, 11 years old. So I was bench pressing, but to get more weight on the bench press to stay with my brothers, I'd put my feet up on the bench and I would arch. And as long as I touched my chest, even though it was like a complete decline, right. 
um, it's still a bench press, you know? So I'm sitting there at, at 13 years old and 14, I benched 275, which is more than Serge does. And he's a grown man. But, but the point was that I was pushing such heavy weight at 12 and 13, which allowed me at 14 to do a proper bench press and a powerlifting meet at 275. How will I change that for Titan? I will completely change that for Titan because what I'm going to do with Titan is slow down the reps, make him pause things and explode because I want him to be an athlete. Um, and the one thing that I did was I was only concerned about the heavy weights relative to the way I did the exercises. And I think with Jeffrey and how Surge now, if you guys follow, Surge benches now more than he's ever benched. Oh. Oh boy. Here he goes. <laughs> yeah, he's up posing. But he Serge benches more now doing the power bodybuilding than he did when he did straight powerlifting training. Right. So that means he's doing more secondary stuff. He's doing more odd stuff. He's not bench pressing as much, and he now does more than that. So the things I'll change with Titan is I will I will slow his forms down. I will do pause reps. When he gets pause he's not, reps. He's not benching as much. He's benching and now more. He's benching more, meaning like he, he he's not doing this as often and doing the other stuff and all his numbers. Is, is, are you trying to say I didn't explain that correctly? Mm -hmm. Okay, Serge was benching like a power lifter before and doing a power lifting training program. Now, seven eight months later, he's benching more, doing less work as a power lifter. Yeah. Um, so if you guys are thinking, no no power lifters, yeah, there's there's some great things about power lifting. And I believe that you should train like a power lifter a portion of the time of the year. Especially, I think you should all take a good like nine to 12 weeks to do a power lifting program. Um, and then from there, go back to the power bodybuilding program. And the reason why is because it just takes your nervous system to a whole nother level, which I was just talking about when I was 11 and 12 years old um, and allowed me to bench so much at 14. With that being said, everybody is improving here, even though we are in quarantine. Everybody's improving here. Pretty much evenly in, in, in a real uh, positive light with all the Titans. Um, and that's what we're also seeing in the Titan crew is you guys are all getting better, which I love to see. And then we always have uh, Miss team leader here, Mona Marison, that's always a freak. Freaking mm -hmm. right now. <laughs> She's freaking out. All right, so let me see some more questions. So Titan's going to train completely different because I will do a lot more pauses a lot more holds and stuff like that as a youngster relative to where I was only focused on heavy weights. Um, because I think with Titan, another thing I need him to do is understand uh, control, um, mind to muscle connection. Cause if I can get that uh, younger than I was, um, he's gonna be an absolute terror. Uh, Neil asks, what's your thoughts on MK677? have no idea what that even is. You wanna check what that is? Yeah, so it sounds like it's a peptide and it's gonna stimulate the whole growth hormone to help for recovery. So that's what that is. Um, yeah, if your doctor says that, that he likes it and you should do it, uh, if it's helping for recovery, uh, it's a recommendation. Uh, try that out, that's something you, that's up to you on that. Uh, yeah.